Carl Erickson, and this is what a warrior wears. Often when I get asked what kind of gear do we carry, why do we carry it where we do, what's it for, I'm gonna break it all down for you. We'll start off with the body armor. Typical set of body armor, you'll have ballistic plates in the front and back, and on the sides, your standard soft armor for stopping shrapnel, and then your special operations operators will have ballistic plates that are rated to take usually up to about 10 hits. In other words, the uh, armor won't just shatter after one hit. It can actually take multiple hits. Right, front of the body armor, you're gonna wanna start with equipment that you're gonna need right here, right now, right? Number one will be your weapon system and ammo to feed that weapon system. So you're gonna have multiple magazines for your primary weapon, in this case, for your M4 carbine. All right, my backup weapon system, I'll have lots of uh, extra magazines of 45 caliber ammo for that. We run ball ammo because it will function the weapon better and you don't need hollow points when you're using a 45. You're pretty well pushing a golf ball through the guy to start off with. All right, you need magazines for that right there. I also carry some of them on my body. That way, in case I have to cut my body armor away, you see that the Blackhawk armor here has one pull handle for cutaway in your body armor. Let's say the helicopter goes down in the, in the ocean or something and you just can't swim with it. If you pull this lever right here, it cuts away the body armor on the side and up here on the shoulders. And what it does is it will drop both sides off and you'll be completely out of the body armor with a simple pull. Great system by Blackhawk. All right, besides ammo for my primary and my secondary weapon systems, I also carry several flashbang grenades. You can also carry uh, mini smoke grenades, things that you may need to uh, save the day right there on the spot, things that you can get to right away. You keep them on the front. All right, over on this other side, what I carry are uh, several different types of firing systems for blowing up explosive charges for breaching doors, interior, exterior charges, small, fast ones. This is one uh, with your deck cord loop for using on larger charges. All right, people look at this cheap little compass here. It looks silly, but I'll tell you what, when uh, the bullets are flying and you're laying on your back or on your side or on your front, it doesn't matter when the call comes over the radio, hey, we need support left side of building four, or east side of building four. I can look down at that compass and immediately tell, all right, east side, I'm in building three. I need to go in that direction. No matter what direction I'm laying in, I do not need to level my compass. That compass will be, it'll write itself every time. All right, so there's a purpose and a place for each piece of kit that we carry. It's not just randomly placed out there. It's all very well organized and placed by order of priority. And it's the use of that equipment that makes us the top military fighting force on the planet. And that's what a warrior wears.